Hello everybody, this is your trusted teacher, Dan C. I'll be joined by my beard-loving and beautiful wife, Sam C., in a little bit. And today, we'll be reviewing the Smoky Mountain Beard Company. And with three different winners, we will have... What time is it? Giveaway! We're going to have a giveaway coming up, so please stay tuned for all the rules, the review, all the information. And I am going to have my longest intro of all time because I want to cover a couple things. First thing, an update on our son, Jax. And second thing, clear up a couple misconceptions that have been going around the beard community lately involving some things with this video. So first thing is, if you don't know, uh, we have two sons, Maddox and Jackson. And Jackson is a one and a half year old. And about five weeks ago, we had to take him into the ER because of some really bad problems that have been going on with throwing up every night, not moving. He lost almost 25% of his body weight. Essentially at the ER, his intestines got tangled inside of each other. They had to have a bunch of procedures, blood tests, and we spent a few nights in the ER and we've been in and out of the hospital since. Tomorrow, when this video is getting posted, uh, the day after the video is getting posted, we are going to one of the best children's hospitals in the country. That's the University of Michigan's Children's Hospital, Go Blue. Um, but this weekend has been a really good weekend. Jackson has been eating, he's been smiling. Uh, not exactly sleeping through the night yet or anything like that, but so far no throwing up. So maybe we're on the other side of this thing and hopefully at U of M they'll give us some answers. And Sam and myself cannot express how amazing this community has been, how supportive you guys have been. The live stream was one of the craziest moments of my life, and everything is really going to help us out. So thank you guys for the messages, the love, the support. Um, I think we're hopefully turning the corner on this long five and a half weeks of absolutely no sleep. And it's been amazing to see Jax get a little life in him and get a little smile and sparkle in his eyes. So thank you guys. And the other thing is misconceptions. I love to address misconceptions on this channel because I think people hear things once, it makes logical sense to them, so it's gotta be gospel, it's gotta be the truth. And I am completely against that. I like research, I like finding things out for myself. And one of the things that I've been hearing a lot lately is people are using giveaways as a cheap way to grow their channel and they're only growing because of giveaways. And I think that's just an excuse and a cheap way out to call it. Giveaways are done for three reasons, and all three are equal. Number one is to bring in new subscribers to your channel. It's not a cheap way. The purpose of having a channel is to grow your influence, grow your community, and a subscriber giveaway is one way to do that. For me, I'm fully confident in my channel. When people come to my channel because of a giveaway, they don't stay because of the giveaway. They stay because of you guys, the comments, the positivity, my beautiful wife, my two awesome sons, this, the overall channel and content, that's why they stay. It's like the street pharmaceutical dealers when they say, hey, the first one's free, after that you gotta pay. For me, come on in for that first free subscriber giveaway and then stay for all the amazingness after that. So that's number one. Absolutely, we use giveaways to bring new people in, but not in a cheap way for numbers, but to get more people to see this awesome content that we work hard at. Number two is to give back to the existing subscribers. I have a lot of subscribers. The chances are when I do a giveaway, it is going to go to an existing subscriber and not a new person that comes in. That's just odd speaking. If I have over 2,000 subscribers on a giveaway, I may gain 30 or 40 on a great giveaway. 2,000 versus 30 or 40, the odds are that my existing subscribers are giving that giveaway to them. So it's giving back to you guys. And the third one is giving exposure to these amazing companies. Giveaway videos do well on views. That is good for the company. So it's all three. None of those are more important than the other ones. So to say that channels are only growing because of giveaways, that's just a cheap cop out to make themselves feel better. So that's a misconception. Then the second one that I chuckle at is when people say that some channels are amazing because they don't put giveaways in the title. It's just purely for their people. That's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> if you know how YouTube works, we have tags or keywords that we put with the video. And when people search those keywords, it shows up for the video. So just because someone doesn't put giveaway in the title doesn't mean they have every tense and form and way that you can write giveaway in the tags. So when ser someone searches beard giveaway, that video shows up and the title will say, hey, you want to open this, wink, wink, 
or the title says, for my subscribers, and it has a bunch of views, those people searching giveaways aren't dumb. They know what it is. So the people that aren't putting in there, I'm not knocking them at all, but let's not treat it like it's holier than everybody else because it's the same thing. They're trying to grow their influence, and I applaud them, man. Give back to their subscribers and show off those companies that are giving the giveaways. It's just no better than anybody else putting giveaway in their title. So I hope that addresses some of those misconceptions that are out there. I think we should have as many giveaways as possible to get people introduced to these amazing companies and to get introduced to these amazing communities and these amazing channels. I love you guys. I love the support. Thank you for everything with Jax. Stay tuned for this awesome video on Smoky Mountain Beard Company. Company. A little bit of information about the Smoky Mountain Beard Company. They are co-owned by Stacy and Nate, and they've been in business for almost four years now. And they kind of have a backstory similar to a lot of these awesome beard companies where when they looked at the beard world, they saw some companies that were very expensive with high-end quality products. And then they saw very cheap products that were cheaply made and were not high quality. And they thought that they could make a top level quality product for an affordable price. And that has been something they've pushed. It's turned into their full-time job and something that they wanna to continue to do for the rest of their life. And that's pretty awesome. And this was one of the most organic stories coming together with Dan C. Bearded and Smoky Mountain Beard Co. I had countless amount of people in comments and Instagram messages. If you're looking for Instagram, Dan C. Bearded, you guys, please feel free to follow me on there. And they would message me and say, have you tried Smoky Mountain Beard Co? Have you tried Smoky Mountain? Hey, try Smoky Mountain. What do you think about Smoky Mountain? And I'd just say, no, they haven't reached out to me. No, they haven't reached out to me. Because if you don't know, my policy is I will never reach out to a single company. I've never asked for a single product. It's always companies that are approaching me. I think that keeps the tone of this conversation very honest. I have a lot of leverage there. I never have to feel bad about giving an honest review. So they reached out to me and they said kind of the same thing. They had longtime customers saying, hey, Dan C needs to try your product. Hey, you need to let Dan C try your product. And when they reached out, I said, hey, let's do this because so many people had asked for it. I am not asking for an affiliate link. I did not ask for an influencer fee. I just said, how about a giveaway to give back to all those people that keep asking about your company? So I will not make a single penny off of this company. Only thing is this great giveaway that I'll be able to give back to you guys. So that's a little bit about how this company operates and how we got started on this video and relationship. Smoky Mountain Beard Company. Price. I rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating. And today I give the Smoky Mountain Beard Company a one dollar sign price rating. They do not have the absolute cheapest prices in the world, but they have an absolute bargain of a price for the quality product that they give. A two ounce beard oil for them is $14. This does not include the discount code that you guys are going to receive. It'll be in the description on this video. Again, I get no kickbacks from that at all. It's just something the company wanted to give you. So two ounces of oil for $14 plus a discount. Another example would be eight ounces of their beard, body, and hair wash, also $14. Those are unbelievable prices for high quality products. So today, Smoky Mountain Beard Company, a $1 sign price rating. All right, hello, Dancy Bearded community, the best community on YouTube. We'll just go general the internet. Yes. So welcome you guys. <laughs> I brought in Sam C. You know her, you love her. Hello. Sam, how you doing today? I'm good. Good. I'm all hopped up on coffee. Picked her up a coffee, so hey, we're on. <laughs> uh, today is Smoky Mountain Beard Company. Cool. So first thing I just wanted to talk about in here to be a little bit different today, some of the swag that's in the giveaway. The grand prize winner gets everything that you see today. First thing is one of your uh, traditional wooden beard combs. Really nice, good long teeth on there. Nice little etched logo. Mm -hmm. Sam likes woodwork and I etching do. and burning and stuff. And uh, she's got something in store for some of you guys that helped us out. So should be pretty cool. 
Another one is the Boar's Hair Bristle Brush. And look how that cool that is there. That is super cool. It's got the logo right on here. I like that. Really, really nice brush. This is a longer bristle where it has some stiff ones. Uh, so it is a stiffer Boar's Hair Bristle Brush that is also going to the grand prize winner. And then we have the Body Hair and Beard Wash. Wow. Body Hair That's and Beard Wash. Effect. I know. We'll smell that in a second. And then the sampler pack. How cool is that? I love this. This it's is so cool. super cool idea. Pop the top. You got everything in there. Get dramatic on it. It's gonna be loud. All right. So really cool Failure. things. I thought it went well. <laughs> it could have been worse knowing me. Uh, so first thing is Sam. I'll have you get the scent of okay. the body wash, hair shampoo, and beard wash. I was gonna say hair wash. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah, pretty much. So what do you think okay. of that initial first smell for Rocky Mountain Beard? Or Smoky Mountain, me, sorry. It reminds me of like Axe body spray. Yeah. Very fragrant, cologne, man Manly. smell. Manly, yeah. Sort of like that like teenager smell. I never thought about that. Like, you know, what's the commercial? Like, yeah. I don't yeah, know. absolutely. I definitely get that. Yeah. I like it. A Manly Axe smell. Yeah. I love it. That she used to smell. always love it. I would wear it when we first started dating and stuff because I was 10 years younger <laughs> and uh, she liked it. So yeah, yeah mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. So that's the smell there. All right. So we got the swag, the body wash. Now to the oils. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> We're on here. So now to the important stuff. The real reason I'm into this company is because of the oils. I do have a sample pack of their unscented balm. It is unscented. Um, you know, uh, lip balm or? Beard balm. Beard balm. Yes. Okay. You know, kind of a important thing. <laughs> I, know, I was thinking community. about my lips right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it really needs some chapstick. Yeah, no. <laughs> something we mention on every single video. It, it looks like It does. Because it's a sample size, so we don't need to smell that. And don't hate on me. I got something cool today because these are the sample packs. They're kind of hard to smell here. It's a very good size sample pack. It is a 0.25 fluid ounces, so one fourth of an ounce. Um, but it is hard to smell. So I have sent up, sent up, ooh. I have set up, sent up, yes, paper. the scents on some paper here, the little thick kind of card stock, and we can get Did the smell. Did you already put it on there? No, I'm oh, going okay. to as we go through. <laughs> All right, so the first one we have is White Lightning. Okay. So I'm gonna take and put just one little drop on here. I'm not wasting, guys, don't worry. First off, I love these bottles. The samplers, these? I think this is the coolest little, I want this for things to just put in there yeah. and carry around, like yeah. lotions and stuff. Super it cool. It is pretty cool. I love all the different sample bottles. This one's very easy, yeah. very, very easy. Okay, I'm not gonna tell her what it is yet, but I can get the initial scent. This was the first one that I wore because I thought it would be the one I liked the most. Okay. And is this a good smelling method? Yes. I thought so it too. Is. It might smells be the best. like clean laundry. Clean laundry, okay. Like what is what is bounce Smell. dryer sheets? Kind of. I think I touched my nose yeah. to it there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, nice. I get clean like Tide, okay. smell, like bounce. Go and see, I would see that, but it's a lot spicier to me. And our scent is together. I haven't done any yeah. scent for okay. these guys Okay, okay. Mm, nope. No? Okay. okay. Their description is, this is a classic bay rum and a country barbershop. A lot of times the bay rum is the barbershop scent. So really? this is a country... Bay rum is a barbershop? Yeah, it goes hand when in I hand. When I say, yeah. okay, when I think bay rum, I think... Tropical yep. rum. Yep. Barbershop is there. Yeah. As far apart as you can. And that's get. common in the beard world. We have so many different interpretations yeah. of things. Some people think barbershop is pure talcum powder. Yes. Other people think it's a bay rum. Other people think it's a chemical Who are these people? spa. So that's what they call it. There is okay. their bay rum country barbershop. I smell laundry and okay. I love it because I, like I it. love clean laundry. I like it as well. It is a little bit spicy for my taste, um, but it is really nice there still. All right, so next up we have, and that is called White Lightning if mm -hmm. I did not say that. All right, next one up is Cabin Smoke. Cabin mm -hmm. Smoke. 
Sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> like the white smoke is coming in and kills everybody by the cabins. You gotta go into the storm you cellar. You should write scripts. I would. <laughs> Alright, cabin smoke. This smell technique is pretty nice and legit, I gotta say. <laughs> Smoky. It's a nice smoke. It's not very mm. harsh. It's like a floral Kay. smoke. Okay. Going back to when I wore this in beard. I like yeah. that you just stick yeah. it right to the stash. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. So I got the oil a little bit away from the edge, so push to the stash and smell. Yeah. It's a fruity smoke. Yeah, fruity, fruity, fruity floral. floral smoke. Mm -hmm. Well, what they call it is mahogany is the main scent. You know, it smells of rich mahogany. And pipe tobacco and spice. Now, I do not get spice. I get more fruity, more floral. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, I get the smoke in there. We are not smoke fans, mm -hmm. so this is not for me. Is pipe tobacco the same smell as smoke? No. Pipe okay, tobacco. Because I don't get Yeah. Pipe tobacco, pipe tobacco is that sweet tobacco. We've seen oh, that in a couple well, other oils. That's where the yeah, and that's probably where the sweetness comes from. from. Like it, dislike it, eh. It's okay. Yeah. It's not for me because I don't like to smell smoke. I think, okay, I like the smell of smoke, but I don't want to smell it all the time. Yeah. Like, just like we like the smell of campfires, but we don't want to smell right. like campfires. Right, right. Yep, so, yeah, it's yeah. okay. I can see you guys liking it, but maybe not so much for me. All right, next one is bootlegger. Bootlegger. Do you know what a bootlegger is? Uh, a hitchhiker? No. Bootlegger is someone who... Oh, no. Someone who makes something illegally? Yes. And started in the Prohibition era when they were... Like a selling... moonshiner. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right. Bootlegger. Why did I think it was a hitchhiker? I don't know. Because they wear boots and have legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of them don't. Ooh. I like that. Let me smell that again. And this again is bootlegger. I'm not sure what that to is. To me, this is the most subtle of the scents. I don't think this one's very strong. I think the first two are kind of in your face. This is sandalwood, bourbon, and woodsy. Hmm. And we both like sandalwood. It's not our favorite yeah. scent in the world, but we do like it a lot. I think sandalwood is yeah. definitely the main component. I of do. This one. I don't get any bourbon out of this. And maybe a little bit of woodsy in there. To me, it's it's subtle. It's a subtle I, sandalwood. I think for me, I get a hundred percent sandalwood. I do too. Yeah. Yep. So bootlegger. I sandalwood. like sandalwood. Yeah, me too. I yeah. think it's a nice manly. It's manly, but it's not cologne. Ooh. Yeah. It's like I don't want to say feminine manly, but like a soft it's manly not a, smell. It's not a chemically manly. Sure. Yeah. All right. Next one is Cumberland. Cumberland. I believe this is referring to the Cumberland Gap in is the mountains. Country, Tennessee. I don't it's know that song. song. Okay. It's country. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That yeah. is cologne. Knew she would like this. This is their number one seller, I believe. As it should be. And the reason why I knew she would like this, the two main notes, leather. And then the second one, which I think is kind of makes it the cologne-ness, but you wouldn't necessarily think of it in the name, cedar. So cedar and leather. And I do get cedar. You, if you do? If you concentrate on cedar. I don't get either of those. I just get, I don't even know what cologne yeah. is made out of, like what scent's going right. on. I feel like it's just like all of them together in yeah. one. So I don't really know how to describe right. colognes. Overall, it definitely is a cologne. Yes. It's hard to pick them out individually. You don't get this in scream leather. Yeah. But it's a nice cologne. It is. A nice cologne. Yeah. Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. And again, that was Cumberland. Cumberland. All right, two more. Next one is Bluegrass. Okay. You got a Bluegrass song for us? Ding, 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 ding. That's pretty much. <laughs> yep, that's it. Went to a bluegrass that concert offensive? once. I don't know. No. Bluegrass folk. Yeah, and we don't need to be politically correct. Mmm, <laughs> Christmas. 
straight up Christmas and I hate it. <laughs> I hate this scent, you guys. I actually, so we're looking at oil diffusers today. And if you guys have an oil diffuser and you really like it, please let us know because yeah, leave a there comment. are like 3 million of them out there. And I And we have a bad know. habit of buying things that fail on us. So yeah. please let us know. Please let us know. But this is something that I would love to put in an oil diffuser. Yeah, just like at on Christmas. Christmas. Time, yeah. Just, so it is cinnamon and clove. Yes, 100%. I hate it. It's straight up Christmas smell. And I like that on Christmas Day. I don't want it under my beard. Yeah, I can see that. That's a little much. No, it's it's very overpowering. We went to a store today. Literally today we walked in the aisle. I was like, whoa, where are they pumping Christmas from? Yeah, yeah. It was like one so spot. Strong. And there was nothing around. We weren't around. even like near the candles. No. Right? It's like they were pumping it through like the ventilation. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> I gotta work on spreading that out. All right, last one. This okay. is Mountain Creek. Mountain Creek. Were you having what I use mountain. as my my warm up exercise for my voice. <laughs> mountain. I turned it into many syllables. That is woodsy. Woo. Me no like that. Yeah, I don't like it either. This one is cedarwood and patchouli. Okay. And I do like patchouli on occasion. I want I, someone to make an oil that is only patchouli for the purpose of letting us smell what yeah. patchouli smells like right. alone. Because we always smell it with all these other things. Yep. We're like, we really like patchouli, but then I'm like, what does it even smell like? So this is a wood scent. But like, you get the wood shop and then the patchouli puts in some like fragrance with it. It was like you sprayed wood shop to make it smell nice because the principal was coming in oh. and then the principal was oh. like excuse me don't do that again please sprayed what i don't know <laughs> so straight up woodsy taste the wood in my yeah mouth. yeah a lot of you guys will probably like this one um but just not for us yeah not for us mm -hmm. so we did have some favorites sam's favorite was definitely cumberland i yeah. knew she would like that my favorite was probably Probably White Lightning, the Bay Rum Barbershop. I liked that, that one. That one did smell good. Yep, yeah. that one was good mm -hmm. there. So overall quality, pure, strong, nice scents. Yeah. Just some aren't they for us. They were very strong. They were. There's good. a yeah. couple subtle ones that I talked about, but overall, you've got a good, good smell yeah. on these. So. And it's the cutest sampler pad. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Love, love this. And again, the grand prize winner gets all of these things. So, nice. awesome. Let Sam know what diffuser you guys yes, use please. and like, and hopefully it doesn't cost us too much, but we're going to pick one up. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sam. Bye. Feel. How do these products feel in beard, on the hair, on the body, all the above? They feel really good. Uh, the first thing I noticed with these products when I put them in my beard is that it is a light to light medium for the oil and consistency. And one thing that I loved right away after I put all the oil through my beard, there was no oil left on my hands. That's becoming more and more of a huge preference for me. I hate to have to wash off my hands and go wipe it off on a towel because some products are just too greasy to even wipe off on my forearms or my elbows. So I got to get it off on a towel. This company did not have that at all. It is a light hold, so it was not the greatest styling, but I did use their balm, and their balm has a good consistency. I have only a sample size of the unscented balm, which I'm not the biggest fan in the world of using an unscented balm. I think when you put the unscented balm over an oil, it kind of mutes the smell and mutes the scent of the oil, and I don't like that. I want to wear the oils for the scent. So what I use this company for currently, because I don't have the matching balms, is for my lazy day beards. A light oil in my beard where I don't need to worry about a lot of styling, bam, good to go. But if you are looking for an oil to style on its own, this one is not for me with that purpose. It does not do a great job of styling, but I don't think that was their intention on that. But my beard feels healthy, it feels light, it feels hydrated, on a perfect lazy day beard kind of company. Now the feel for the all over body wash was really good. I used this uh, several days on my hair, my body, and my beard. I used it like shampoo, like beard shampoo, and then I even put it on my loofah and I washed my whole body with it. It was really good. It's a very manly smell. 
and it made my body feel fresh, it made my beard feel clean, it didn't make it feel so much with the condition side. I did not follow it up with a co-wash because I wanted to see what my beard felt like without it. Um, and it felt like a normal beard shampoo where my beard was kind of stripped of the natural oils. So I do recommend following this up with a co-wash afterwards if you want to get that conditioned feel for your beard. So overall, there's some great things, but also some things that I don't prefer with the feel, but everybody's preference is different with that. But overall, pure quality. There was no, no knocks on the quality whatsoever with this feel. Rebuy. Would I buy any of these products or any other products from this company again? Yeah, I would. Not everything from this company is for me personally, but I definitely would love to have a two ounce oil from this company on deck at any time to have those nice lazy day beards. I really would recommend the value of the body, hair, and beard wash. So overall, really good prices for quality. Yeah, why not? Absolutely, I would rebuy this and I would recommend it for you guys. Now, the rules of this giveaway. Stay tuned. Giveaway time. Rules, I'm gonna make this very simple for my YouTube giveaway. Rule number one, the most important one, is be a subscriber of my channel. If you win this giveaway and you are not on the public subscriptions, meaning you have it set to private where no one else can see who you subscribe to, I will ask you to take a screenshot of your subscription for me and send it to me just to verify because there are lots and lots of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed. So definitely hit the subscribe button. It's actually more than 50% of my views are non-subscribers. So make sure number one, you are subscribed. Number two, please hit a thumbs up on this video. You know the deal, YouTube algorithm. Let's let more people see this video, please. And number three, leave a comment down below, answer this question. Are you a lucky person when it comes to giveaways and lottery and anything of that world? Are you the person that is always winning those giveaways that you hit Club Kino, that you win the lottery scratch off? Or are you the guy that has never won anything? You've never won in a giveaway, you never hit the lottery, your Kino strikes out every time, let me know. Me personally, I'm in the middle ground. I've had my runs of giveaways that I've won. I've also had terrible luck for months and months. And then I've come back and had great luck after that. So for me, it's kind of a streaky thing like my shooting in basketball. When I'm hot, I'm hot. When I'm cold, I am ice cold. So I'm in the middle ground there. And I'm interested to see what you guys are. I know some of you that are lucky. I know some of you that have won three giveaways in a day. And I know some of you that always say that you've never won anything. So genuinely interested to see what you guys have to say there. So once again, you guys, thank you for the support and love of my community and especially my family. You guys don't know how much that means to us. Sam has shed many tears and just Overall, we could not be any luckier. When it comes to the luck for the support of our family, man, we are rich in the luck and support from you guys. So thank you. I hope you learned a little bit about Smoky Mountain Beard Company and the three giveaway winners. I didn't even mention this yet. We are gonna have two people that are going to win the sample pack. You get all of the sample oils and the sample balm. And the grand prize winner is going to win everything that I have here today. That is the sample pack, that is the beard comb, and that is the boar's hair bristle brush, and the body hair and beard wash. So one person will win all of those, and two other people will win the sample pack. So, good luck to you guys. This video will run for one week exactly, and from this date today, seven days later, I will have a video. Of course, it'll be with Jackson Maddox. If you haven't figured that out yet, they're always in my giveaway winner videos, and we'll announce the three winners for that. So thank you guys. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome week. I've got parent-teacher conferences this week, so it's one of the longest weeks of the year, but hey, no complaints here, man. Living the dream. Take care, you beautiful bearded people.